We're going to grab those foam rollers. We're going to get going on the hamstrings this morning. Alrighty guys, we're switching legs. Alrighty again, from here, bringing it on up to our butts. We're gonna roll out those glutes. Alrighty guys, coming over to the other side. Alrighty guys, from here let's roll it onto our stomach. We're gonna roll out those quads next. So starting right at the top of that knee, roll right up towards those hips. Guys, we're switching legs. From here, guys, let's bring it right onto our back. We're going to set that foam roller up just below the shoulders. Gonna bring those hips up off the floor, hands behind the head, sucking those elbows to the ears, gonna roll midway down the back, come right back up to those shoulders. Alrighty guys, let those elbows come down, open up that chest. Alrighty guys, we're gonna grab those foam rollers. We're gonna come right to that side lying windmill. So laying it on our side. The foam roller comes up by the chest. We're going to glue that knee to our roller. Both arms out in front. And bring that top arm all the way around. Getting a good stretch in that shoulder. Open up that back. I'm going to stay right here for the full 50 seconds. All righty, guys. We're coming to the other side. Same deal here. That foam roll is up by the chest. 
glue that top knee to our roller, both arms out in front, bringing that top arm all the way around. All right, guys, from here, we can come right to that half kneeling position. We're going to go to our hip flexor stretch. So once we're there, making sure those hips are tucked right up under the chest. We're going to get a good squeeze in those glutes. I'm going to hold right here, and then halfway, we'll switch. That wasn't your best effort, Mark. That was a tough one. All right, guys, go ahead and tuck that leg in. We're going to bring that other leg up. Again, making sure those hips are tucked. Big squeeze in those glutes. All right, guys, from here, we're going to stay right in this half kneeling position. We're going to come to that groiner stretch. So both hands come inside that front foot, kicking that back leg straight out. So we're going to run that inside arm from our knee to our ankle, reaching across, open up tall towards the ceiling, dropping that back knee, bending that front leg. And good stretches in those hamstrings. Alrighty, gang, from here, we can bring it on up to our feet. We're going to come to squat to stand. So those feet are hip width apart. We're going to reach down for those toes, drop those hips. We're going to open up tall on one side, open up tall the other. Still reaching for those toes, stretch out those legs, rock out those hips. Dropping right back down into that squat. Alrighty, guys, that does conclude the warm up. Let's go ahead and put those foam rollers away. We are tracking today, guys. If you haven't grabbed your card, make sure we're grabbing that as well. Alrighty, guys, so as we're finding our way back to our spot, what we have going on this morning, we are continuing with our strength conditioning core circuits. So we have our circuit, two circuits across the gym, circuit number one over on the mat, circuit number two over here on the turf. The way the timing is going to work, you guys will have that 14-minute running clock 
to go through each circuit at your own pace within the allotted rep ranges. At the end of those 14 minutes, you guys will then have that two and a half minutes to rest, grab some water, catch our breath, and switch halves of the rook. All right, so Max, I'm going to start off on circuit number two with those uh, new barbell hip thrusts. So remember last week, guys, we tried the, not last week, a couple weeks ago, we tried them for the first time. They weren't as scary as we thought, right? They're pretty good. So remember, when setting up with these guys, we're going to sit our butts on the floor, back is up against that bench. We're going to roll that barbell up to the hips. Biggest thing to remember first, guys, is making sure that pad, the crease is facing up, because if it's facing down, it's not going to do anything. We're just going to dig into our hips with that barbell. Second, and what I think is one of the more awkward parts about this exercise is I'm a person with pretty, I have thick thighs and thick hips. So when I roll that barbell up, it kind of stops right on my thighs. And we need to get those feet planted to start the exercise. So we kind of have to force it up. We have to kind of balance it to start, right? So we can deal those hips, uh, those heels into the floor. From there, we can get those elbows up on the bench, drive those hips up to start so that our just under our shoulders is resting on that bench. And then from here, we can balance that bar with our hands. We're gonna drop those hips down, drive right through those heels, firing those hips hard up towards the ceiling, get a big squeeze in those glutes right at the top before controlling those hips down and pushing through again. And we're done, sit those butt on the floor, and we just roll that bar out. So this week, guys, it is eight to 10 reps because it's still a new exercise and we're getting used to it. Don't worry about so much going up in weight this week. Um, these ones off to the right here are still set up at 55 pounds, and these guys over to the left are still set up at 95. So once we're done those, we're going to come to our alternating overhead med ball slam. Remember, with these guys grabbing our med ball, starting up over the head, we're going to get the pivot on that back foot, slam right through the floor, come back overhead, pivot on the next foot, slam right through the floor. So that's for a total of 12, so essentially six reps on each side. From there, coming to some core work, we have our alternating dead bugs with our foam roller. So laying it down, opposite hand to opposite knee, getting in that dead bug position. We're gonna press that roller through our knee while controlling that arm and leg out and back. We'll do six reps there on each side as well, totaling 12 reps. If you wanna make it a little more challenging, we can come to that alternating toe touch. So again, laying down full extension, we're gonna reach opposite hand, do opposite, so getting those shoulders up off the floor, putting some tension on those abs. And then to finish up circuit number two, we have our tricep extensions. We're gonna grab ourselves our bands. One foot comes in. We're gonna to come to that split stance. Remember, whichever foot is in the band comes back, start hands together, palms are up. We're gonna make two fists, close them together, come right around the back. We're gonna keep those elbows glued right to the side of the head. And then from here, just driving those hands straight up and back down for a total, I think, also of, yeah, 12 reps. And then once you do that, guys, you'll head right back down to your barbell hip thrust. So that is circuit number one. Circuit number two and our second uh, track exercise of the day, we have our goblet squats. So grabbing onto our dumbbell, getting those feet hip-width apart. We're going to drive those knees out on the way down, fire through big exhales, right back up nice and tall. Again, for a total of eight to 10 reps. From there, we are coming to, what we got? Oh, our walkouts. So either coming down to that push-up position, getting those feet nice and wide to control those hips. We're gonna walk those hands out as far as we can, bring them right back under those shoulders, or we can do it right from the knees as well to shorten that lever and make it a little bit easier on us. That is gonna be for a total of six reps. From there, some of the six total get-ups, you guys know these, getting on the floor, getting back up any way we can. And then to finish off, it doesn't say on the board, guys, but these are going to be single arm rows. Um, so we set up, facing the TRX, uh, TRX, yeah, creating some tension on that band, getting the athletic position. We're going to pull that handle right into the ribs, get a good one second hold, and control it right back out, getting a good squeeze in those shoulders. And that, guys, is going to be a total of 12 reps on each arm, which it also doesn't say. Thank you, Steve, for reminding me. All right? <laughs> so any questions on any of the exercises? All right. So I have my four right here. Barbell hip thrust. Frank, I got you. One, two, Lisa, three. And if you guys start right on those alternating med ball slams, the three ladies there, you guys can start right on those goblet squats. 
And then I'll just have my remaining five guys. You guys can start writing those get ups. Or not get ups, sorry, the walkouts. Now, already guys at home, so starting off on circuit number one, we have those goblet squats. So grabbing onto our dumbbell, setting right up in that rack position. We drive those knees out down, big exhales, pushing back up for eight to 10 reps. From there, coming to those walkouts next. So getting into that high plank position, feet nice and wide, hands start under the shoulders, walking them out as far as we can. We'll keep tension on those abs and then walking them right back in to the top for a total of six reps. And then coming to some get-ups. So just getting on the floor and then getting right back up any way we can six times. Then we're gonna finish up with those rows. So grab it onto our band. We're gonna set it up in between those feet. Get a very nice wide stance here. Then we're gonna turn both of those feet same direction. Press that front arm on our knee. Grab onto those bands and then row that hand right to our back hip getting a good squeeze in that shoulder for a total of 12 reps. Alrighty guys, getting ready, here comes that timer. Frank, you good with doing them just from the floor? Yeah. All right, beautiful. So try to get those feet a little wider out. But yeah, right there, nice. There you go, Mark. Good job, guys. Still firing through those hips. Getting them up as high as we can. Double. Yes, absolutely. Yeah, yeah, I got you. I got you right here, Lee. Yep. Absolutely. Go, so guys, the no hand get ups. Good job, Steve. Right. It's a nice job with that no hand get up. Yeah, repeat. What's going on, buddy? That looks perfectly easy. Yeah. How's it feel? It looks good. So if you want to, challenge yourself a little more. Get those hips a little lower when you come down. And then big exhale, drive right through those heels. Yep. Hips up nice and high. Beautiful. Yeah, absolutely. So I have Lisa doing two over here is yeah that's all right Melissa. so i'll have you grab on shoulder width apart right you're going to glue those elbows to your side still and then from here you're just going to bring those hands down to your hips and then control them right back up all right Thank you. you're welcome how you doing my best were you here for the barbell hip press last time so it shouldn't um, if it does, we can always do it from the floor, too, so you're not, like, pressing into your back on the bench. Okay. Um, you can still do it with a barbell from the floor. It's just a little more comfortable sometimes. Okay, I'm going to try it. Yeah, give it a shot. Absolutely. It's my lower back. Okay, if it's lower, it shouldn't put too much pressure okay. on you, but definitely let me know. How you feeling, Mike? Right. Shoulder doing okay? Yeah. So remember, only thing with these lace ups when you're coming up, try to keep those elbows glued right to your side. Oh, yeah. Not up. Right. Yep. So just hands down and then hands up. Got it. Yeah. There you go. Nice. Oh, Martha, looking good. 
That feel all right, Melissa? Good. No, I hear you. That's fine. We're close. We're close to the weekend. It's almost there. How's the uh, how's the puppy doing? He's calming down, but he is a wild, wild. Is he? Nice. Yeah, yeah. That's awesome. He's a good charger. He wants to be good. Yeah. Try. Yeah. That's good. Try. All right. We'll take it, right? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> that feel right, Martha? Yeah. Okay. Good. good. There you go, Frank. Let's keep those elbows locked. So, what I got to do? I got to figure out something. So if, if I just get up, I'm going to do like three of them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, Real easy on that. Yep, absolutely. I'll so the next round. Think, sure. What I'm is? do the, the walk up to my knee. I don't know. See how it feels. See how it feels? Absolutely. Yeah. All right. Um, so for the get ups, we can do, I mean, depending on what you want to work on. I can give you some upper body stuff. We can do some more core if you want to. What would be an alternative? Um, so if I had you do upper body, we could keep doing overhead press. We could keep doing the banded press. Oh, I, see, I can do a bench chest press. Want to do that? Yeah. yeah. You're just getting up and down is really. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah, we'll keep you on your feet. I mean, I'm getting up and down enough. Right. No, I hear you. <laughs> you know Absolutely. I, mean? I don't want to overdo it. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, Gavin. Gavin, those slash ladies, drive those knees out down. See you get killed up. How you feeling, Anne-Marie? Good. Doing good? A little sore on Wednesday. A little sore yesterday? Sore yeah. Here. Everywhere or somewhere? Spot. Your bum? Oh, geez. We push a lot. I don't know. Yeah. What did we do? I think it was a single leg. Oh, it probably was the deadlift. I was really working hard at Yeah. That's good. Well, I hadn't been at the gym for a few weeks. Right. Well, that means you're doing it right. That's one of the spots you should be feeling it. Well, that's... Yeah, that made me happy. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Felt that. <laughs> good. <laughs> There you go, guys, putting pressure on that roller. Really engage that core. How are you feeling, Kate? Sorry. Sorry today? Sorry. All right. You got a big, big agenda today, or are you a chill day? Oh, yeah. Good All right. Well, that's the end of the day, so I'm saving it all for Yeah. All right, I hear you. Yeah, no good. Yeah, right? Terrible. Digging the jams, Mark? All right. Did this for you. Well, it's better than Dylan's. It's not perfect. Go, Deb. Right to the ribs. Nice. Yeah. <laughs> Almost to drive right through those heels. Nice. Is that mine? What? Where's it? I appreciate Lizzie in the morning. Oh, yeah, I know. Well, I had to, I had to wake up this morning too. So I had to, I had to, so I had to wake up this morning too. So I had to put something good on. I really got to make a playlist one of my priorities. I got to get going on one. Hey, feel there. How you feeling? Doing all right? It's okay, way to keep those elbows locked. How you feeling, Mark? Good. What's going on? How was that? How was your trip? Awesome. You good? Get some sun? Yep. 
Looking tense. Looking good, man. Good job, guys. Get those handles right to the ribs. Big squeeze in that shoulder. Here you go, Amy. Shut there's a little heavy. Just go a little much. When do you like to come down or when you push up? When you push it up. All right. Also, I'll look next time too because it could be where your feet are uh, planted. They could be a little too far in. That'll put a little bit of tension on them. Because, like, I know I forgot to say it too, but when you're going through it, you almost, when you drive up, you want, like, from your toes to your knees, and then from your knee to your hips to be, like, a 90 degree. Almost like you're, like, sitting straight down in a chair. So sometimes when you pull your heels too far in, it'll put a little more tension on, like, the quad to the knee. So I'll take a look next time through. Grabbing those rows, guys. Get that handle right to the ribs. Big squeeze in that shoulder. Good job, guys. Fire right through those hips. Big squeeze in the glutes. Go, Frank. Hey, Alicia. Jonathan, where'd you get that reach? Nice. Go feet, no hands, I see you. Good job. Push out on you, Lisa? Yeah. So, you one thing that tells us? is that we're relying a little too much on this box, pushing back. So next time you come through, if you make it another round, try to scoot your back up a little higher so that you're pressing straight down on the bench rather than against it. Yeah. Yeah. And that's, a, that's an easy thing to do. Yeah. There you go, guys. Drive through those hips. Good squeezing those glutes. All right, so let's take a look. So to get up, so yep, get a big squeeze top. You still feeling that tension? A little bit. Just a little bit? Yeah. Try to widen your stance just a touch more. There you go, now drop down. And then strong drive up. Any different? Not so much? All right. So it could be could be like tight quad too, just coming down into the knee, super tight. Um, all right, so that's it for now, we'll keep it light then. And then just be rolling it out for now. And then as we get going more and we do it more, because we don't do these a lot anyway, it's still kind of like a foreign motion to us. So hopefully as we get going more, maybe it'll loosen up a little. It'll feel a little more comfortable. Is it, like, painful or is it just tight? Okay. All right. So, yeah, we'll definitely keep these light for now. Because I want to... Yeah. Yeah. can go away. Yeah. All right. Yeah. You go, guys, less than a minute.
So guys, finishing strong on those tries, keeping those elbows glued. Go Mark. Here we go, guys. Last 10 seconds. Finish strong. Alrighty, guys. Finishing up those reps. We have that two and a half minutes to rest. Grab some water, catch our breath. Making sure we're getting those numbers written down. Remember, as we're about to switch halves of the room, guys, each exercise has a corresponding letter. So when we're heading to that starting station on the other side, we're starting at that same letter as the first circuit. Alrighty, folks at home, coming into circuit number two here. Assuming that we don't have barbells at home, when we do our hip thrust, we can either grab uh, a dumbbell to put on our hips, or if we have a sandbag, something heavy, we can use that as well. So we're going to bring it to the floor. We're going to plant those feet, shoulders into the floor. We're going to drive through those heels, getting those hips up as high as we can, getting a real good squeeze in those glutes before controlling those hips nice and slow, right back down to the floor for a total of 8 to 10 reps. After that, we are going to come to some squat thrust. So getting those feet hip width apart, we're going to come down into that squat, hands on the floor, jumping those feet back into that high plank position, and then jumping those feet right back into the hands before standing up nice and tall for a total of 12 reps. Afterwards, coming to our dead bugs. If we have a foam roller at home, we can use that as well. We're going to get in that dead bug position. Shoulders come up. Opposite hand back. Opposite foot out straight ahead. We're going to really get a good squeeze in those abs going through these. That's going to be for a total of six on each side. Or we can come to alternating toe touches, so laying out full extension. We're going to reach opposite hand to opposite toe, getting those shoulders up off the floor as well. And then we're going to finish up with our band tricep extension. So grab it onto our band. One foot comes in. We're going to come to that split stance position. So the banded foot always comes back. Start with those palms up. We're going to close hands together. Knuckles to knuckles. We're going to rotate that band over the top of our head. Keeping those elbows glued right to our side. Hands come straight up. Control them right back down to the back of the head for a total of 12 reps. Yeah, Deb. So I want you to this crease. I want this crease to be up. But just because I don't want the barbell to dig into your hips when you go through them. And then, hold on, Deb, one sec. Let me fix this bench for you. Oh, let me that. There you go. So do me one favor, Deb. Come a little further up on the bench. Because right now you're pushing back into it rather than straight down. There you go. Now tips down. Now right up towards the ceiling hard. Good squeeze. Nice. Good job, Amy. Way to get those hips up. You feeling all right, Emery? So first thing. No, you got this, Emery. Absolutely, you got this. So first thing, I'll have you with this. Oh, I'm going to have you put the, the pad up. You're not digging into your hips. Wow. So we'll get that up there. All right. So like I said, the most awkward part is starting off. So I have you scooch back to the box. <laughs> yeah, so get your back started right up against the bench. And now you can place elbows up to help get yourself up. Now the most awkward part, like I said, is starting to get your feet planted. Because you kind of have to balance the bar. So hips in, yep. And now drive through those heels. To get yourself started. So it's like this? Yep, just like that. And then yeah. drive up to get yourself started. No, Marie. And then back down. So how do you think it would feel if we took our elbows off the bench and just pressed our back into the bench? That might feel better. Yeah. So ideally, that's what we want to try to do. So to get the elbows up is really just to get us going, eh, Marie? So when we start, right, bars in. We're sitting back against the bench. Elbows are up to help. Once we get that bar up, we're almost using our elbows to push our back onto the bench. And then elbows come off. And I'm just under the shoulder blades here.
I know, it's such a pain in the butt. This is the hardest part. You drive yourself up and back. Like that? Yep. There you go. Cool. <laughs> so that, what th that tells us is that we're relying too much on the box behind right. us. So next time, try to scooch a little further back so that our back is pressing straight down on the bench. You'll get it, Amber. You'll get it. We got this. How did it feel, though, going through the... Does that feel good? Yeah. So it's just that starting. That's the part that made me nervous. But yeah. That's just, okay. All right. We'll get it. All right. Uh, just one, Mark. Yeah. Just one's fine. Yeah. You good. <laughs> So there's a lean on the floor. Yeah. Just took off. <laughs> I believe it. Make sure they're not cheating. Yeah, uh, yes, sir. Yep. Go, Pete. Your shoulder? Or no. your quad? Yeah. So set up a little more center mark. Yeah, push it that way just a touch. There you go. Here you go, Pete. You got it. Fire through those hips. <clears throat> yeah, John. It look good. Soft. Go, Pete. So the only thing that's going on here, Pete, is you're kind of relying on this box a little bit. You're pushing back. So scoot your back up a little higher on the bench so that you're pushing straight down on it. Yeah. But other than that, we're good. So like usually when we go through it, when you set up, try to have just under, just under the shoulder blades is where you want to start up here. Stop right. I'll turn it to the uh, walkout. To the walkout. So not feeling too good. All right. So what we'll do... Instead, Frank, if you want to hold a low plank, you can do the low plank. Oh, I'll hold plank. Uh, so is it the getting up, getting down, or is it just relying the on being out, on the knees? No, the walk out is good. All right, so yeah, we'll come to a low plank. Okay. All right. There you go, Pete. Nice. I don't see that box moving now. Beautiful. Good job, Deb. You're good guys. <laughs> I feel you. How's it feel, Deb? I'm a little nervous. Why? Because of my back. Be back, bud. Yeah. Are you starting to feel it a little bit no, in the back? No. No, not yet. All right. Good. Good. You can cheat. I have some trust in you. I believe in you. <laughs> that is, yes, 185. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> Sometimes it's just like that, you know? Some days are tougher. We go, Emma. Drive through those heels. Big squeeze. Nice. All right, Amber Ray. So, yeah. So before we even worry about the bar, I want you to get all the way up against that bench. Go back straight up. All right. So now worry about getting the bar set up right under the hips. So now plant those feet, which is going to kind of incorporate balance in the bar a little, which is awkward. All right. So now you can use those elbows to get you up. Once you go up, Emery, kind of try to pull yourself back so that just under your shoulders are resting on the bench. Yes. Yep. Nice. Much better. So now you can support the bar with those hands. Then hips down. Drive right through the heels. It's a lot better. That bench isn't moving. Beautiful. Nice job, Emma Marie. Looking good.
You go, Frank. Great hold. Great hold. Was walkouts not feeling too good, sir? The shoulders looking. All right. Yep. That's okay. The dynamic plank feels okay, though. What? The dynamic plank feels okay. Yeah. All right. Perfect. It's just like I can't lift. I still have this block, so I can't lift it. To move out? Oh, really? How long has that been going on? Oh, really? That's a pain in the ass. Yeah. Is it like just going to be like that or is it over time? I'm, I just had, I took my life from freshman year in college and then again sophomore year. Yeah. And I've had them fit. And then uh, senior year started to notice he was like backing up again. And yeah. I was like, I'm not doing it. I'm not going to play right. sports professionally. Right. Since then. Man, that sucks. It's not fun. All right. Yeah, as long as those planks feel good. Yeah. Go, Frank. Nice job. We'd use those lungs. Everything on this side feeling good? Shoulders good? Yeah, the walk action. Doing them on my knees. Okay, perfect. Awesome. Thanks. Yeah. So from here, Lise? Yeah. When we're going through? I want you to focus more on the walking out part rather than walking back up. So your highest point on this should always just be that high point. So we, we don't want to like walk the hands in and get oh, the hips kind of up. Like yeah. So yeah. this is your high point, and then from here, oh, walk out as far as you oh, can. Yeah. yeah. And then just right back to there. Okay. Nice. It's a lot better than usual. Are you down there? That's what I was telling Mark. All Maroon 5, like every. All Maroon 5, all the time, Emma. That's it. <laughs> there you go, Mark. Drive right through those heels. Nice. You think Dad's still feeling good? We go. Like fives? Yeah. Yeah, drive right to those heels. Good squeezing those glutes. Nice. Yeah, here we go, Pete. Remember to get that back up. Everything else was beautiful. Driving those squats, guys. Driving those knees out. Big exhales up. Go in, Marie. You got it down now. Good night. How's the 185 feeling, Pete? Feeling good? Yeah. Yeah, good. That's awesome. That's a good spot to be this early in it, too. It's a, it's a hard one to do. Yeah. It'll be it'll be like that. Yeah, you're at the end of the week, man, you know? Yeah. That's a factor, too. Yep. There you go, Jonathan. Nice hold at that top. Good squeeze. Had that extra 10 field there. Pretty good. All righty, guys. Two minutes.
What's up, Frank? Nice guy's playlist. You like it? Yeah. Better? I like the stones. Yeah. Oh, I know. I love it. And we'd go down and come up stage, but they had a pool table and a record player that had a spindle on it for 45 cents. Oh, yep. Four, you could drop albums. Yep. I remember 12 by 5. Yep. The only song for the first album. Oh, really? Yeah. Yeah. And that was. Sure, it was getting hot then. Was it? Yeah, it was just coming on. Yep. Nice. Pop me back on for you, then. Yeah. No, I appreciate that. All right, there you go. You got it. Finish strong. Here we go, Emma. You got it. Last rep here. You want to do me a favor? Can you drop down real quick? So I want you to go a little higher up on the back. I know I cut your mid rest. I'm sorry. So the bench is pushing back right now, yeah. which tells us we're relying too much on the big box. So I want you to get your shoulders just a little higher on the bench. So kind of right at those shoulder blades. There you go. Much better. Nice. <laughs> Alrighty, guys, nicely done finishing up those reps, getting those final numbers jotted down. Once you guys have those cards filled out, we can pop them right back in our folder. Appreciate you guys lining up those dumbbells. Thank you, Emily. <clears throat> so as we're packing up to get out of here, guys, a few announcements for us. Remember, S3 signups are ending next week. So if you guys are interested in getting going with that, make sure we're doing it sooner than later. Uh, only other announcement, we are starting a diaper raffle. Um, so one pack of diapers equals one entry. There are unlimited entries. May 31st, we'll do the drawing and the prize for said raffle is one free month of nutrition coaching. So if that's something that interests you guys, bring in a pack of diapers, jot your name down, pop it in the bucket, and we will do the drawing at the end of next month. But otherwise, you guys did an awesome job this morning. Have a great rest of your day. Hopefully, we see you back tomorrow for a fun Friday. Till then, we can make it happen nice and loud on three. One, two, three. Make it happen. Woo! Have a good one, guys. Absolutely. All righty, folks at home, thanks for hopping on. Have a great rest of your day.